I'm just sharing about uh, modification of Yamaha studio monitors. Uh, and this is a physical modification, so no electronics skill involved at all. It's just craft skills. You get in touch with your inner kindergarten cut and paste. Um, this is the monitor. The front, of course, is the inside. So with the speakers and uh, with the amp plate, this is the back, the amp plate removed. And on the inside, it has this as acoustic damping for the inside of the box. Um, and you have to rip it out. Um, it's glued in there, but I've already done that. Uh, and then on the inside of the box, usually there's glue left here. So I scrape that off with a just a plain chisel on all the sides to get it flat. And then I got acoustic panels like this. They're one foot by one foot. They have a beveled edge. You don't necessarily need a beveled edge. You get them um, online, whatever retailer you use. Um, and they're just a few dollars each. You'll probably need six of them if they're one by one. And uh, maybe if you're doing the HS80s, you might need uh, you might need more than that. I'm not sure. Um, for, for doing my HS7s, it definitely took six of them. So uh, what I did was cut each piece like this and made room for things like this speaker and uh sorry the light the led light and then there's also these little blocks here braces so you have to kind of cut it to size and then notch out here for those braces and then um kind of stuff it in and use some spray adhesive to hold it in place i've cut these tight enough that they actually fit in very well friction fit um and then for the sides I did the same thing and then I, I took the piece and I back cut it here so that it can fold to go in a little easier um, so that when I put it in it'll uh, it's just a lot less work um, and then I can put this one in they all fit in nicely um, and with the top I, I did it in two pieces so this will go in like this these will go in like this uh, And this speaker panel, what I'm going to do is glue it in, let it dry, and then with a with utility knife um, or exacto knife, go from the other side and cut out the hole. So this is just there's no damping on the speaker plate on the amp plate at all. So um, what I did was put some damping on the front just so that it was on all surfaces. Um, and then, so this will go in and then push down it'll be glued once they're dry i'll cut out the speaker holes um, and what it does to the speaker basically stops the inside from being like an echo chamber um, in kind of low mid mid range high mid frequencies um, the stock speaker damping does that somewhat but uh, these acoustic panels have a much higher rate of sound absorption and so it really tightens up your speaker a lot. Um, and the obvious question is, does it change how the speaker sounds? And will I lose bottom end or things like that? And the short answer is yes, it will change the um, how the bottom end responds. And you're technically changing the inside of the cabinet. So it's not gonna be tuned precisely to what it was before. However, um, uh, for my two bits, it's worth the trade-off um, in sound accuracy and having better translation of your mixes. Um, so yeah, it's uh, I think about 30 bucks of sound panels and a little bit of spray adhesive. Um, so maybe $30, $40 modification and really helps um, bring the speakers uh, up a level in, in accuracy. And uh, yeah. No soldering involved at all.